Jimmy van der Luck had no trouble finding work when he arrived in Amsterdam in 1925. He was a celebrated tap dancer and bartender. He briefly made a name for himself as a boxer using the name Jimmy Lucky. In addition, he worked as an extra in feature films and as a model at the Rijks Academy of Arts. In 1930, Nola Hutterman painted a portrait of Jimmy in an outdoor cafe. Hutterman uses several motives symbolizing Jimmy's occupations at the time. The clenched fist represents the boxer, the performances in the newspaper represent the artist, and the glass of beer, the bartender. Artists like Nola Hutterman also had political and social reasons for painting black people. In the 1920s and 30s, many artists were communists. They viewed Afro-Americans as the main victims of capitalism. Jimmy got a job at a restaurant in Scheveningen. In one of his interviews, he says... When I arrived in the Netherlands in 1925, there was a grand total of 11 Surinamese here. I was a crowd puller, like you wouldn't believe, being the only black waiter in the Netherlands. Whenever I walked outside, people would stop me, buses would stop. The boss didn't want me to take any time off so that guests would not come in vain. Scheveningen without Jimmy was unimaginable. His brother Rudolf later said about Jimmy, My brother Jimmy could turn anything into a show. Everything Jimmy touched turned into gold. He did everything that was expected of him as a black man, as long as he got paid. Black people were a new phenomenon in society. As more black people entered the country, Jimmy became less and less special. He had a hard time accepting that and became embittered. In the 70s, he was photographed one more time. He appeared on the cover of Panorama magazine as the first black St. Nicholas. <laughs> 